Hello Earth Signs, Taurus, Cappy Virgo, welcome back to my channel and thank you for being here. We're going to be looking at the current energies around you and whichever energy you're dealing with, earth, air, fire, water, this is going to be for you. So before I get into it, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Um, also, if you are after a private reading, please feel free to email me, um, depending on availability. I can try to squeeze you in. Um, otherwise, I really just want to say thank you for being here. Um, joining the channel and supporting me. Um, let's get straight into it. The Earth sense overall energy, what you need to know, what Spirit wants you to know right this minute. Okay, as a major arcana, you've got the judgment card. This is this is heavy duty. You know, this is like um I really feel like spirit and the angels are communicating with you. I feel like your spirit guides are next to you here in regards to what's happening in your life. Things are appearing to be very karmic. So like karmic connections, karmic events and circumstances. Kathy Taurus, you've come up uh, so far. Okay, the four could be in Aries that's come up here as well. Um, okay, but overall in terms of the major transitions for you that are coming up. You've got the devil on the, ju uh, the judgment card. So I really feel like a toxic situation is coming to light. And I feel like the universe is like to pull you away from someone or telling you, you know, I don't want to lecture you here, but I feel like the universe is trying to tell you this message and it's like nagging at you. Could be the intuition here as well, but I feel like, uh, sorry, the fool, the devil and the judgment card are telling me there is a massive lesson or a situation that you need to walk away from Earth signs of the ways the cycle will continue to happen. I am seeing that loss could be on the cards for some of you. Um, perhaps more if you're dealing with a water sign though. Um, but look, overall, I feel like the universe is trying to expose something to you and it's trying to do that through a course of action or a conversation. Something that will take place that's going to expose the true nature of someone you may be dealing with. Now, that might not be for all of you, um, but I definitely feel like uh, there could be a situation here where you've been a fool in love and you've rushed things. It could be a message to sort of slow that down a few paces and just let things unfold naturally and organically. Um, like I said, I feel like if you're dealing with a water sign, this person has come up as the Five of Cups. Now, this is about loss, and I feel like there's a lot of regret tied into that. So there might be a lot of regrets happening. There's there's a water sign here who's having big regrets over you and the way things turned out, especially if you're no longer in touch. Um, it's almost like this person is only now really feeling that emotional loss and you can see that. You know, they're still clinging uh, they're still clinging they're still clinging on, they're still hanging on here, this this water sign from um, Pisces link, but it can be Cancer Pisces or Scorpio that you're dealing with. It's like, you know, you might have broken up ages ago or separated a while ago, but it's like it's only hitting them now. It's almost like an aftershock or an aftermath um, that's happening here for them. So that's that's quite interesting. Um, but they're definitely feeling the loss, and I feel like there's a wave of sadness that's washing over them, um, and it's like hitting them now more than it has previously. So I think they're very sensitive right now. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if they reach out and they message you, but they're super, super emotional and they're being very sensitive right now. Um, now, if you are even connected to them, it could be like there is another loss around them and they need comfort from you now more than ever. So you'll, you'll see this vulnerability um, within them, I feel. Now, um, if you're dealing with an air sign, the air sign has come up as the four and the six of swords. Okay, four of swords is like... I feel like there's an air sign that might be coming back, to be honest. It could be an air sign that's long distance or foreign. I feel like they're a distance away from you, though. Um, the angel can be seen as a messenger. Geminis are the messengers of the zodiac, so there might be a gem energy coming through, uh, especially because the six of swords, Gemini rules June. So maybe a link here. Um, okay, I feel like there's... There's been a quiet phase. I don't know if this has been a bit of a standoff. You've been stubborn. They've been stubborn. You haven't really spoken. I feel like there might be an air sign either coming back or there's an air sign that's going to be themselves again. So there's been a bit of a thong here. Um, there might have been a conversation you had that put this person off or made them unsure about you. And 
I feel like they're going to come to terms. Six of Swords is telling me they're going to move past that sort of hiccup and be themselves once again. So let them overcome what they need to in their mind. Um, and then I feel like they will return. Um, but I feel like there is an air sign who does want to move forward. And I feel like the fact that you gave this person time to think and process things, they really appreciate it. And now they feel like they can be more themselves again um, with you because you took the time to do that. So that patience is like them coming back. It's the reward. But I feel like there might even be something really nice they want to do for you to show that appreciation even uh, around this time. But yeah, they're literally going from the four to the six, which is good. Four is like rest, retrieval, uh, renewal. Um, and then that's, did I say retrieval? I meant rest, renewal, retreat. Um, and then, I mean, maybe retrieval is coming up, so maybe they're trying to, it kind of ties into that coming back, um, retrieving something, claiming what's theirs. So wouldn't be surprised if you have an air sign X who's coming back into the picture here. They want to be a better person here for you. They've had some anxieties, they've had some trust issues, but they don't want to think like this anymore. They don't want to be in those dark places, anxiety, and you know, they're not happy being there. They can be dramatic, but they're not happy being there, um, is what I'm sensing. Okay, let's move on to fire signs. If you're dealing with a fire sign, this person is, oh wow, okay. So they've come up as the full strong fire energies and Aries. The, um, the four, four of swords, king of wands. Is that the king of wands? It is. It's a lower vibing. Okay, lower vibing and Aries is coming through. Um, but the King of Wands, the full the page of Wands. Okay, um, and the Seven of Wands. All right, um, I'm seeing that this person has a bit of a jealousy issue about a certain situation, or they will have a jealousy issue. Um, they kind of feel played by you, Earth Signs. I'm not going to lie, they still want you, but they kind of feel embarrassed. I get embarrassed or humiliated. Um, but... Okay, this is really strange, but something you did kind of embarrassed or hurt them, but it's made them like you even more somehow, okay? Um, look, this person was always immensely attracted to you. There's no doubt about it. But something you did, I don't know what you did here, but it's like they were, they, it secretly made them want you even more, okay? On the surface, they might have been like, oh, you know, this is not cool, or I'm not talking to you again, or I can't believe you did me dirty, but deep down, it's like it's made them want you even more. It may be a rejection here. They won't admit it, though. They've got too much pride right now, so don't hold your breath if you're waiting for that confession from them. They won't give it to you, okay? This, that fire signs can be super, super stubborn. I mean, you can too, earth signs, but together, yeah. You're a stubborn match made in heaven, really. But, yeah, I get that it's brought out a different side to them. They're thinking about marriage with you. Uh, with you. Uh, the marriage card has come up, so I wouldn't be surprised if they're talking to other people about you, saying, you know, this is the one, this is the person, this is the real deal. They could see themselves marrying you, um, or it's like people are asking them, like, they might even have marriage plans, you know, I'd hate to spoil stuff like that, but, you know, I just feel like... It's on their mind. They can't stop thinking about it. Um, I also get that this person's going to do something very creative for you. Um, it could be like write you a poem or sing your song or write music about you. Uh, I also feel like you, a trip is coming up for this person and they might extend you the invitation. Again, don't expect that confession, that admittance, because it's not coming. But you will know from me telling you that whatever you did, Okay, might have put them off for a minute, but I've actually made them like you even more. So, interesting. Very, very interesting. Okay, lastly, Earth Energy. Ten of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, the Devil. Um, okay, I feel like there might be a fellow Earth sign you might have been dealing with who kind of played you a little bit or tried to control the situation. They only tried to control you or do what they did to get more stability from you. I don't think there's malicious intent coming from this person. They're not interested in anyone else. They don't have anyone else. But I feel like they might have, they might have done some things to make things fall in their favor. But ultimately, they want stability with you. So 
that's not, I'm not thinking it's something that's really bad that they've done. I think it's more the fact that the reason behind why they did it, and I feel like it is something to do with stability. I feel like this person uh, is going to want to introduce you to their family or friends. The notion of family is coming up. There could even be pregnancy or family news coming from this person. Um, or it's an earthling you're about to meet who does have kids or who is in a stable um, energy in their life. Like, um, you could meet them through work. I wouldn't be surprised. But I do want to say with the devil, it can be like affairs or friends with benefits first. It's physical, then it'll come into more emotional things later. Um, but I get that this person could be tied up with someone else, but they want you. Um, possibly they might be willing to leave that other person for you. The judgment card is here. Only if you put your foot down at signs, I feel like could be an ultimatum coming. Um, or spirit wants you to give this person an ultimatum because they can't have it all. They can't have the best of both worlds. They'll need to choose. Um, you know, and three's, three in a relationship, three in a marriage, it's, it's a bit crowded. So, you know, and you want all of their attention. You wouldn't want to share this person. So I feel like that's something um, that's coming up as well. Okay, let's see what the advice here is from Spirit for you. Okay, Page of Swords and the Star reversed and the High Priestess is here. Definitely your intuition is going to kick in. It's about to kick in. Um, and it's going to be very helpful for you to decipher a situation around this relationship. There's a number two here, which is a relationship member. I feel like there's unfinished business. Um, or there's possibly a secret that needs to be exposed. I think it's from your side, but you haven't shared it up until now. Spirit may be encouraging you here to act on whatever this is. So opening up to this person, telling them about your past, whatever this is or needs to be, uh, it's like spirit is trying to push you. Okay, the page of swords is reversed. Spirit doesn't want you to look back anymore. There might be a situation, could be like an ex or a situation, something that happened in the past um, that you haven't healed from yet. The star reversed is telling me you haven't healed from this earth signs and it's potentially preventing things from moving forward now. So there's an issue from the past that spirit doesn't want you to look back on because every time you do, we get we get some some funky energy. Um, so you're not healed from this, and I feel like if you go back, it could put you in a worse off position than you previously were. So I feel like it's like um, it's like a word of warning, if that makes sense. The star card is Aquarius energy. Air energy has come up as the Page of Swords and the star. It could also be Spirit is really wanting to drill this into you here at uh, Earth Signs. But there is an air sign who might not be fully healed. Okay, um, or an air sign that doesn't want to step out and be exclusive just yet. It might be something about sharing each other with the world or making this exclusive, like, because they might not be okay with it just yet. Um, your destiny in general is still yet to be fulfilled, so I definitely feel like there's some big things that are leaning largely for you that will be absolutely phenomenal and significant in this uh, period. So, it's important to remember that as you go into this energy. But really powerful reading for you overall. And I do hope that has been helpful. Um, I hope I haven't spoken too fast. I just get so buzzed. Um, so I'm going to leave it there. Thank you again, everyone. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hopefully we'll catch up soon. Thanks again, everyone, and bye for now.